The magic SYSRQ key is a key combination understood by the Linux kernel, which allows the user to perform various low-level commands regardless of the system's state. It is often used to recover from freezes, or to reboot a computer without corrupting the file system. Much like Sun Microsystems is open firmware, this key combination provides access to powerful tools for software development and disaster recovery. In this sense, it can be considered a form of escape sequence. Principal among the offered commands are means to forcibly unmount file systems, kill processes, recover keyboard state, and write unwritten data to disk. With respect to these tasks, this feature serves as a tool of last resort. Commands The key combination consists of ALT, SYSRQ and another key, which controls the command issued. The combinations always assume the QWERTY keyboard layout. For example, on a Dvorak simplified keyboard, the combination to shut the system down uses the key labeled or instead of O. Furthermore, some keyboards may not provide a separate SYSRQ key. In this case, a separate print SCRM key should be present. Under graphical environments ALT plus print SCRN SYSRQ plus key combination generally only leads to a screenshot being dumped. To avoid this print screen feature the magic SYSRQ combination should include the CTRL, becoming CTRL plus ALT plus SYSRQ plus key. For the same purposes the ALT GR key, if present, can be used in place of the ALT key. On some laptops SYSRQ is accessible only by pressing FN. In this case the combination is a bit trickier, hold ALT, hold FN, hold SYSRQ, release FN, press key. The magic SYSRQ can also be accessed from the serial console. Uses, a common use of the magic SYSRQ key is to perform a safe reboot of a Linux computer which has otherwise locked up. This can prevent EFSCK being required on reboot and give some programs a chance to save emergency backups of unsaved work. The QWERTY mnemonics, raising elephants is so utterly boring, reboot even if system utterly broken, or simply the word busy or read backwards, are often used to remember the following SYSRQ keys sequence. Unroll, terminate, kill, sync, unmount, reboot. Hold down the ALT and SYSRQ keys. While holding those down, type the following keys in order, several seconds apart, reasub, computer should reboot. In practice, each command may require a few seconds to complete, especially if feedback is unavailable from the screen due to a freeze or display corruption. When magic SYSRQ keys are used to kill a frozen graphical program, the program has no chance to restore text mode. This can make everything unreadable. The commands text mode and reset can restore text mode and make the console readable again. On distributions that do not include a text mode executable, the key command CTRL plus ALT plus F1 may sometimes to force a return to a text console, where N is the highest number of text consoles set up by the distribution. CTRL plus ALT plus F, N plus 1 would normally be used to re-enter GUI mode on a system on which the X server has not crashed. Configuration, a feature is controlled both by a compile time option in the kernel configuration, config magic SYSRQ, and a SYSCTL kernel parameter, kernel SYSRQ. To be able to use this functionality the config magic SYSRQ option has to be enabled at kernel compile time. The SYSRQ key can be disabled with the following command. To re-enable. On newer kernels, it is possible to have a more fine-grained control. On these machines, the number written to SYSISK can be 0, 1, or a number greater than 1 which is a bit misk indicating which features to allow. Possible values are, 0, disable SYSRQ, 1, enable SYSRQ completely, greater than 1, Bitmask of enabled SYSRQ functions, 2, control of console logging level, 4, control of keyboard, 8, debugging dumps of processes etc., 16, sync command, 32, remount read only, 64, signaling of processes, 128, reboot power off, 256, 
nicing of all IT tasks. Alternate ways to invoke magic SYSRQ While this was originally implemented as part of the kernel's keyboard handler for debugging, the functionality has been also exposed via the PROC file system and is commonly used to provide extended management capabilities to headless and remote systems. As an example, shell script can be simply used. This is equivalent to the key combination ALT plus SYSRQ plus B which reboots the machine. The Linux daemons SYSRQD and TCP console provide a method of accessing SYSRQ features over a TCP connection after authenticating with a plain text password. The HangWatch daemon will invoke pre-configured SYSRQ triggers when system load average exceeds a certain threshold. The Zen hypervisor has functionality to send magic commands to hosted domains via its XMSYSRQ command. Many embedded systems have no attached keyboard, but instead use a serial console for text input output to the running system. It is possible to invoke a magic SYSRQ feature over a serial console by sending a break serial command, followed by the desired key. The method of sending a break is dependent on the terminal program or hardware used to connect to the serial console. For Minicom, a popular serial terminal program, the command sequence, CTRLAF will initiate a break sequence. So the command, CTRLAFM would show memory information about the system. Security Some people view this key as giving access to dangerous system level commands to anyone who has physical access to the keyboard or serial console. It has been argued that this perceived security is illusory, as anyone with physical access to the computer would already have the capability to compromise its security. The advent of the PROCFS interface has rekindled debate over this subject. Situations when the magic SYSRQ key does not work, when in it is successfully killed with a SEGV signal. After any kernel panic. When there is a failure and the kernel is no longer running correctly even if it doesn't show a kernel panic. When the magic SYSRQ key combination is pressed with a command C, it will cause a kernel panic or when the following equivalent command is executed in a command line. See also, console server, KVM switch, system console, references. External links, documentation SYSRQTXT in the Linux kernel source tree kernel.org. Retrieved September 3, 2013 a, Andrew Morton. Kernel patch to the M tree that added the SYSRQ trigger feature, this makes SYSRQ facilities available to remote users. Retrieved September 3, 2013 a, Lawrence, Tony. Magic SYSRQ key on Linux. Retrieved 2013-92-03 a, Gaul, Tom. Magix's request. IBM Developer Works. Archived from the original on May 27, 2007. Retrieved September 3, 2013 a.